Greetings one and all, this is Lloyd Brown. Welcome social media family to my vlog with part two of a three part tutorial on how to operate the Easy Drummer 2 software. Beautiful piece of kit. Without further ado, let's get to it. So here we have once again the Easy Drummer 2's interface. The last episode we was getting into editing our drum loops, um, actually moving different assignments of power hands and drum playing styles from one instrument to the other and we moved the power hand from the hi-hat to the ride because it was kind of central to the scar groove that we all know and love so we made a variation on two of, of the same drum loops by playing the power hand on a different part of the drum kit so we utilize it on the ride and not only the ride itself but on different parts of the ride because you can play on the bow which is like the middle to the outside or you can play on the bell which is the um, the dome shape that is located right in the middle of the ride symbol itself and not only that you can um, alternate how much is being played decrease how much is being played and then you can alter the velocity raise it decrease it and what have you and you can do that with all parts of the drum kit as well so it is very, very customizable, very, very intuitive and exciting to get into to create your own trademark drum playing style, even though you're not a drum player or a drummer yourself. So we're going to move into a different section called um, Tap to Find, which is located on the search tab. And um, I can increase or decrease the tempo of the drum loop that I'm trying to find. So I'm going to tap that, open the slider, move it up and down. Not only that, I can um, I can click on that and then move forward to click on this and it will give me random tempos. 73, 59, 79, 68, 73, 72, 73, 82, 73, sold. <laughs> so it can Give me random tempos as well, you know, but I want to bring it to 140. I'm 35. And I'm using the mouse wheel as well to get a more exact, precise tempo. Okay, so I'm going to click tap to find. So this might get a little bit tricky because... Um, I don't know where each drum sound is assigned to on my controller. I know where the hi-hat is, which is the most important thing for me. But with the rest, I can just use my mouse. So here we go. I'm going to use a stepless drum pattern. And it goes something like this. And automatically it will quantize it. Yeah? Okay, so now I'm going to go into the snare. Quantize. Okay. So now I'm going to go to the controller and utilize the hi hat. results and it's given me um, different variations of that drum loop right and the percentages are the ones that closely matches okay so I can play this at 91% one or this one
Right. So I'm gonna pick the roots slow. Yep, I like that. So I'm gonna take that, grab it, bring it down there. Okay. So let's go into drums. Let's click on loop and loop that. Click on the start. Now, here's where you can actually even edit your drums with that. So let's press, in fact, let me assign the buttons again. MIDI learn, record, MIDI learn, play, MIDI learn, stop. Okay? Right, so let's play it. If I want to, I can change the kit on here. So let me open here, click, click the arrow. So I've got a choice of three kicks that I want to use. So I can test them by selecting here. And on the right hand side, I can actually alter the volume and the pitch. So let me alter the pitch. Here, alter the volume. Bring it up. Right, change the, the drum kick drum again as well right so let's go into the original kit Okay, so I'm cool with that. Um, also, I can edit the play style. Opening hit. I can move from here to. I can move it to the symbols on the left hand side. Play that. Or I can move the opening hit to percussion if I want to. I can move the opening hit to whichever drum I choose. So let's move to the timbali. keep it at the crash so I'm going to alter the algorithms of the kick drum not feeling that and that ladies and gentlemen is basically how to find a drum loop by tapping one out using the tap to find feature and getting a selection that closely matches the drum loop that you're basically looking for and in turn altering that as well. So there's lots to do and there's lots to play with and there's lots of customizability in Easy Drummer 2's 
software. Um, I can go into it more and more and deeper and deeper. But the next one I'm going to go into is going to be how to mix and how to um, export your final mix of your drum loops. And there you have it, how to edit your drum loops, how to edit your drum patterns without them sounding like a drum pan ting. So it's with that, I'm going to bid you guys adieu for now. Thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. And as always, you done know the coup. People, please abstain from foolishness wherever possible. And until I catch you on the next one, till we link up next time, stay blessed. Magan.